Tonight on the Mac to the Future Livecast 162 Go Livecast something. There's a new version of Apple Clips. Wait, what was Apple Clips again? Uh, will Apple dump Google for their own search engine? That is the eight to twelve billion dollar question. Also, will there be an Apple event in November? And what might they be pushing in it? All of that tonight and more. We will dig and get to the truth. No, we won't, but we'll have a good time anyway. On the Mac to the Future live cast, go. I had to wait for my camera and microphone to come back up. What? Hey, everybody. No Florida trip because 2020 isn't done screwing with me. Uh, this time, a combined hurricane and cold weather front that will slam the East Coast at the same time I was going to start driving to Florida is meaning I'm not going to Florida. So I'm guessing that Godzilla is not that far behind. Uh, fortunately, we have this show to make it just like going to Florida. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's just like going to Florida. Sure it is. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And we have we have a, a wide variety of, of peoples here that, yeah. Well, I mean, well, for one thing, there there is Dave Ginsburg. Hello, Mr. Dave Ginsburg. How are you, sir? Hello, Mr. Geiser. And you got my name right. Ooh, look at that. I know. Wow. I know. Say, hey, I'm I am a professional that doesn't get paid at this stuff. Yeah. How you doing? doing? Well. Doing well, doing well. We're uh, having lots of fun, and yeah, COVID's still here. <laughs> well, good to know. All right, I guess that's it for us tonight. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, we also have Mr. Warren Sklar. Hello there, Mr. Warren Sklar. Hey, I was hoping to get the week off. What, from the show or yes. from work? No, from the show next week. Oh, well. I put on my calendar. Uh, I actually, it, it, if I had been going to Florida, there would not have been a show. This that's week or what, next week. I know. I said I was hoping to get the week off. Now well, you canceled it's, that. It, it, it's your it's your commitment to the show that makes us love you, Warren. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for you. That's not a good that's uh, not a good thing. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, tell you what, why don't we just get right into it? Uh apparently. Microsoft is updating the iPad version of Office to take advantage of newer iPad features like the Magic Keyboard and built-in mouse support. Uh, do either one of you uh, subscribe to Office 365? Yes, I do. I get it for free. Well, of course you do, along mm. with a Tesla. That's how that works. No, the Tesla that's, I had to pay for. But oh. the Office, uh, I, I consult for a company that... I still consult for it and they gave me a license. Uh, so I have it. And, so I, and I kind of get a free license too. So yes. Yeah. I have to pay for mine, but however, um, as compared to most subscription services, it's not a bad deal. No office 360. Easy. You get what? Five licenses. You bucks. get a, a terabyte of storage on their cloud server. One, one and drive. And it's yeah, OneDrive, and it's it's unlimited license on mobile devices. So I've got it on my iPad, I've got it on my iPhone. Though I have to admit, I don't think I have ever even started it up on my iPhone. I, I for, for the most part, you know, other than like doing texts or messages or silly Facebook posts, I don't write a lot on yeah, my phone. Either. I don't use all. I, I I have Office. I don't think I ever use it. So I wouldn't pay for it if I didn't. Well, I do. It. I do on on the iPad. Uh, nah. Well, not so much recently, but in the past, I have. No, you're a Pages guy. Yeah, but what? So, I, I mean, everything we write could go on uh, text edit. I mean, there's <laughs> at least for me. Um, in fact, when I used to do the uh, the reviews, that kind of still do for my Mac. Uh, mm -hmm. John Nemo insisted on using text edit. That's how he wanted the, the formatting 
done through text. I didn't, didn't get into WordPress that way. So I never really, I mean, it could go away tomorrow. I, I don't think I've never, I maybe open up word once or twice, you know, just to look at it and go, Ooh, there it is. I, I like I, update. I like updating it. That's the fun part, you know, to click. Yeah, I, you know, I use the apps on my iPhone for work. So, I mean, I could, yeah. sometimes I have to upload photos to OneDrive and it syncs back to my corporate network. So I do use those for that. Oh. I think okay. you could get, I think they're free though. I don't, for, I don't what, think you updates? need a subscription. No, the iOS apps. Yeah, the, their apps are free, but you're, you're, you'll be limited on it, what you're It's, you it's read and, only, isn't it? Isn't it read yeah. only? Uh, I, don't, I think they changed it. I think you get more for free on the on the apps. Well, I think the web based version now is free. free yeah, the web based web, is yeah, Office on the web. They made a whole bunch of it free, where you know the only thing you were paying for is the actual apps on the on the desktop. And um, I, I, I I could check into that, but let's see. I, I got In Google Windows. right here. I was what? It's office. almost like there's some kind of universal apps. universal search engine. That we could use to find out information on the internets. Internets. Uh, uh, Internets. Okay, well, while Warren is looking for that, Apple's quarterly report for 2020 quarter four is tomorrow, the 29th. And no matter what they announce, guys, it's one more milestone for the very end of 2020. There will not be another quarterly report from Apple that we'll talk about in 2020. Oh, well. <laughs> yes. And prediction time, Apple they made money. have made a lot of money. Confirmed. These apps are for free, and you could use them for free. Okay. So, yeah. Including writing and editing and all the rest of that? It says you could create, edit, view, print documents, presentations, and spreadsheets in the Office apps for free. But to do so, you need to sign in. Luckily, it's possible to sign up for free. You just need to create a Microsoft ID. Um, so yeah, you don't need to have an Office 365 subs- subscription. Okay, uh, well, it's you still need to register. Deal. Yeah, there you go. You know, it's hundred bucks a year. Um, Mac OS Big Sur 11.01. So the first update for Big Sur is here. Oh wait, they haven't actually officially released. They don't have a release version yet, and this mm. is the developers version of an OS that's not officially released yet. Well, that's usually what developer versions are. I know, but it was just, they've had, you know, Big Sur developer version, you know, one, two, three, four, blah, blah, blah. And now they've got a, a 0.01 release, which I thought was kind of weird. It's so. close. It just means it's close to, to coming out. So um, it's, I installed it today and it's. Uh, yeah, I need to do it on the. Uh, it's good. It, it's, uh, it's so I posted it. It it, it worked on. Um, it's definitely performance based fixes. Um, I'm actually running it now on uh, this call, and <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Dud, dud, chat. Oh, Marcus, Marcus, Marcus! You have no idea why that is as funny as it is. Uh, what else right. we got? What else does he say? He says one terabyte is almost a thousand gigabytes, but how many gigawatts is it? One point twenty one. One point twenty one. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I don't think I ever paid paid Brian anything. I don't know who Brian is. Come on, hey, Brian. man. Brian Monroe. Oh. Brian Monroe. Oh, okay. Because you know we we are we are this far away from the Mac Geek Gap. There you go. Anyhow. Yeah. Big Sur. Um, sure, it, sure we are. <laughs> it's coming out soon. It's coming out soon. Uh, I would say the next two weeks it will up, be up, released. Up, 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 up. We have we have things to talk about along those lines. Okay. All right. Um, getting into the main story stories. <clears throat> this shows you how how little we have in the way of main <laughs> stories. Apple Clips has been updated. The little video editor that could has a new interface with even more stuff built in to make your short form videos better than ever. Okay, that was the happy-go-lucky version because I don't think Apple or anybody related has talked about this uh, since the last time it was updated. Now, I I remember when when they first started talking about Clips, was that for iOS 12, I think, two years ago, 11? 
Yeah, it sounds about right. Yeah. And it was like they spent a significant amount of time talking about clips and it was it was like oh it was going to be great and then everyone was going to use it for this and that and then you never heard anything really about it again and it seems to me that in a world that exists with tiktok that clips would be like the perfect the perfect little video editor for people making short form videos but hadn't really heard anything about it so but now they have they have a new version and you can have your emojis or emojis or what whatever kind of emojis that, that you've made with your Apple account. Um, just all kinds of, of cool stuff. It's got a, a new interface that apparently is even better than before. So go on over and, and check out Apple Clips if you're the kind of person that likes to make 15 to 30 seconds. I mean, videos. it was even important enough that Apple had to release a news, put a news release on the newsroom uh, <laughs> website. It's Clips gets week. its biggest update ever. It's a slow week. So yeah, it's, it's supporting vertical horizontal video HDR recording yeah. with the iPhone 12. So yeah, well it, it, that's it, probably the only reason why they updated it was for the iPhone 12, probably, and some enhancements for iPad because I know that the app for iPad originally wasn't uh, as great. Anything that's going to be strictly iOS only is not going to take off like TikTok. It's just not going to happen. There's too many Android yeah. people out there, so um, yeah. that's your problem. <laughs> what yeah. Android or TikTok or both? Or both, okay, both. Good. But yeah, <laughs> they have problems. They do That's have right. problems. If you're watching this and you're an Android user, problem. I don't problem. even know. If, can they watch this video on an Android? I don't even know. Well, yeah, they can watch. It I'm on kidding. Facebook. I'm sure they can. Yes, I know. On on the on the book faces. That was okay. a joke. That was a joke. Oh, I knew that. I get jokes. Sure you do. Uh, Guapple search engine story from nine to five Mac. Something that a lot of people may not realize is that uh, uh, Warren has a really squeaky chair. I bet I can beat I bet him. You guys are like pairs with these squeaky chairs. <laughs> Rock. Uh, is that Google pays Apple an estimated eight to twelve b b b billion dollars a year to be the default search engine across Apple's line of desktop and mobile computing devices. This is a significant part of uh, how much Apple makes in their services platform, but some are saying that this is big tech gone wild and may try to break apart this little happy marriage between the two companies, which means Apple may need to find an alternative. Well, as it turns out, that alternative may be right under their noses since Apple has been using a web crawler to peruse the web and you may be using it and not even realize it. Kind of like, oh, what was that dishwashing detergent? That they used to talk about all the time. Oh, you're soaking in it. Oh, palm olive, palm olive palm dishwashing. Olive. Yeah, so you're soaking in it. Dishwashing liquid. Relax. It's palm olive, and it was actually the woman that used to do that commercial. I know I'm going off on a tangent here. Was oh, are, are we the surprised? Same woman. This, I know <laughs> the same woman that played the Wicked Witch of the West in the Wizard of Oz. Isn't that fascinating? Oh, she dies in. No spoilers, Mar but she dies in the end. Margaret, what was her name? Margaret Hamilton, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marge. She was in, they called her Marge, right? Big Marge. No, she, Marge. Yeah, she used to in do the commercial. They called her Marge. Oh yeah. wait, maybe yeah, Marge wasn't. Who was the one squeezing the Charmin? That might have been Marge. That was Mister Whipple. That was Mister Whipple. Whipple. Yeah, I yeah. think Marge. Marge was the one uh, with the palm olive. And then there was the Maytag man. I and mean, we could just go on and on, but we probably shouldn't. All right. Apple web crawl, web crawler. Yeah, yeah, remember, yeah. remember web crawler, the internet search yeah, engine. Yeah, yeah. Holy uh, crap. So that, in iOS that's 14, like one of the first ones. iOS 14, Apple has begun using its own search results and linking directly from those qu queries. Part of the benefits may also be making Siri smarter. Now you two guys, especially you, Dave, are, are big iOS guys. And so I'm, I'm guessing you already knew about this and might have a comment on it. So not to put you on the spot. Pressure's on. Yep. What? Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, so wait, wait, glad wait, you wait, had wait, the conversation. You threw me off there. I mean, gosh, what? Please. Uh, I, I thought you were talking about Warren. No, <laughs> no I was yeah. talking to you. I I'm actually sorry. said Dave. My, my, my screen came off and I, 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 I missed it. Uh, but you're asking about <laughs> iOS. Yeah. Sorry about that. He wants to know how uh, how you feel about uh, Google maybe going own. away and doing their own search oh. engine. 
to okay. make Siri smarter. Yeah, kind of things. Um, I think this is crazy. I, I think this is. Uh, I, I I can't I it can't may imagine not be Apple. Up to them. I mean, I mean, it may get broken up, yeah, because of the whole Google thing. Um, but I I don't know if Apple's going to actually going to be doing uh, do, doing its own search engine. I think that's a little far fetched to me. Well, how how would I mean if if they weren't going to be using Google as a default search engine? How how would that work in in iOS and the Mac? You would yeah, they would, would have pick to pick a search engine of your choice or search of your choice. I would think. Yeah, would you, whether you got Bing or you got uh, DuckDuckGo or you got uh, yeah, there's, there's, that's the thing. There's not much competition. Who, who else do you pick between the besides those two really? Um, and the biggest you, one is is still Google, right? Eighty five percent or ninety percent of the market share is it? Yeah. Okay. What about you, Warren? Yeah, I mean, if if they don't use Google, On the spot. It, oh, you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> you talking uh, to me? Hey, you talking to me? You talking to me? Uh, yeah, no. If they don't use Google, Siri will be worse than it is now. So, I mean, uh, you know, unfortunately, Google has the results. Uh, everything else, you know, they try and they never do. I want to use DuckDuckGo, and I want to use, you know, something else, uh, but it never works. And um, you know, well, you you, I mean, you do get some results. Yeah, but never what, the results that you what you're looking for. Yeah, I mean, not relevant most of the time. Not relevant. And when I do a Google search, um, you know, 99% of the time, it it tells me what I'm looking for. Right. So you know, it, you know, it they might be a privacy uh, hungry company, but if the product I'm trying to get out of them is a result on the internet for what I'm looking for, and they produce it, then they did their job. Well, I, and you know, this is the thing about Google and Amazon and some of these other companies. If you're using their services, it's important that you understand, especially if they're free, it's important that you understand that free doesn't always necessarily mean no, no cost to you. Um, the difference is, do you care that you know, they're, they're getting information from your web browser or that they're getting information on, you know, stuff that you're buying or anything along those lines. And if you don't care and, and you're happy with the services that you get from Amazon or Google or, or any of these other services that, that spend a lot of time looking into the things that you do online, then okay. You know, I mean, that's that you're willing to pay that price. And Why would I care? Yeah, for the most part, it, it's like yeah. you know, I'm I'm not doing anything on the web that is all that unsavory. So even if you were, I mean, I, I mean, if, if if Facebook and Amazon what want to you, know what, what are you telling us, Warren? Well, you know, I <laughs> private browsing doesn't always work. Uh, oh, that's, that's, damn. What I'm hmm. what, <laughs> what what I'm trying to say is, um, you must have tested it somehow. Well, you know, yeah, I, I a test. Sure, it was. I was I was sniffing packets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> oh, there's a there's a couple of things that oh, we could say. But sniffing lazy packets. Anyway, um, the um, no, what I'm saying is um, in, th there's been conversations about this. Whether you're going to get ads, whether they're targeted or not. So if they can't get your information, then you're just going to get ads from things that you don't want to be involved with anyway so yeah. why what what do, what do i prefer targeted ads and they know more about me uh um <laughs> the subpoena <laughs> <laughs> there's no subpoena. Up some, marcus pick up some zingers tonight <laughs> um yeah subpoenas that's that's it that's all i got <laughs> subpoenas it's, it's like it's like Palmer on stage, subpoenas, 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 subpoenas. Yeah. Developers, okay. developers, developers. <laughs> <laughs> but be careful how you say subpoenas because this is a family friendly show. Right. And, and uh, uh, a disclaimer here what happened when I was distracted? You, you got me on the tangent about Palm Olive. So I was looking on YouTube, looking at for the for the actual video. It's, I'm so you're There's soaking Marge, in it. Margaret Hamilton, Marge. Right? Marge. No, her name was Marge, but the, oh, it was not Margaret Hamilton. 
So the, the commercials, her name was Mar was was Marge. But, well, that's short for Margaret, so that's yeah, Marge. But 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 it was just a character. It wasn't the actual person who played. In oh no no, it right. wasn't like you had the Wicked Witch of the East. No no, but West. I told you I told you it was Marge, and it was. Yeah. So. Yes, it was. Yeah, and it was played by and the Mr. actress and that Mr. Was in Wizard of Oz. It was the Marge and Mr. Whipple show. Yeah, and Mr. Whipple. Well, he well, it was he was he crazy had, um, No, he uh, owned a store. The the Maytag repair guy, the loneliest guy in uh, the world, he, the Maytag repair I, guy. And I've I've, and I've confirmed it. It, uh, it was uh, starring Jan Miner as Madge, not Marge. Madge. Madge. Um, so it wasn't. I thought it was the the woman no. from the Wizard of Oz. No, no, see that whole rant you did was all off. See, see. <laughs> So my so whole I, life has been I, I, a lie. I, I, but by me going off on the uh, 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 days here, uh, I, at least I was yeah. able to correct you too. See, all oh, those good because you know that always puts me in the best of moods. <laughs> all, all those ninety-five-year-old people screaming at their TVs. Yeah, that wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're talking about Wicked Witch. Again. Maybe it was you a good witch. Suck. You it's suck. Mac. <laughs> Okay. Uh, where's All the beef? Right. Yeah, I remember yeah. that too. Where's the beef? Yeah, Claire she's still around. It's like her, her, and um, Betty yeah, White. They'll, anyway. they'll be. I, uh, I'm she, just she, what she, about what about the uh, help I fall and I can't get up? Did she ever get up? Oh yeah. No, she never. She never reaches <laughs> back up again. <laughs> never gets back up. She's still on the floor. She's, she's still, still on, on the floor at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, <laughs> I bought the bracelet. Damn you! <laughs> Come kid me up. The technology. The technology is outdated. <laughs> the yeah. bracelet doesn't work anymore. The, the towers are down. <sighs> yeah, crazy. Mike. Yeah, Mike. Uh, believe me, the next Last time we do this show. <laughs> I will still be talking about how the woman in the Paul Mall of commercials was the Wicked Witch of the West from the Wizard of Oz. Nobody, I don't remember these things. Madge. Uh, Madge. That depends how you say it. Anyhow. Okay, we, have, we have one more. We have, boy, and there's the link. So, really so, 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 you have, so, you, so you have reference for it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm clicking and nothing's happening. Okay. Yeah. So, but well, right, you know, you those do, links, you, those links aren't clickable. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Looks cool. Oh, sorry. I was just trying to. They're okay, not clickable. All right. Um, we're going to get on to the last story for the night. Uh, because this is just turning out to be a very weird show. It's <laughs> unclickable. Uh, the, the it always no, is. I know. Yeah, it pretty much always is. Uh, and what is the common factor in all the weird shows that I'm on? Yeah. You. <laughs> you could be could very well be oh man <laughs> i get blamed for everything i do all right the november event anyone Silicon. remember that apple said they were going to introduce the first silicone based max before the end of the year well we're almost into november and the last few events haven't had much mac goodness in them so a lot of people are talking about a november event well apple will finally unveil at least one mac with an arm processor will it actually be available to be purchased this year and some of the other ones are also talking about air tags frankly i am sick i am as wow. sick i'm sick about of AirTags. talking about air tags as i am about the apple car and uh, what's the other one? The Apple TV. Walt Musburg. There is not going to be an actual Apple TV. Not going to happen. Or air power. Right. Stop. No air power. Stop talking about it. <laughs> air power. Apple said we can't figure it out, so we're just going to put magnets in the phone, and that's your that's your solution. <laughs> Write it down to some vellum. Yeah. I don't. Six nine. Square yeah, I, I don't get that one. Oh, Sorry, nice. Marcus. You'll have to put in another comment. 69 69 what the, is what the, the thing, hell that means well, well it's that apparently is. it's like the the square root of 69 what would the square root of 69 means. be i don't know so Nothing. if they have a november event and assuming that uh it's going to be more related to max than anything else uh start with warren what do you think they might announce um definitely uh big sir will be released on that day and they might pull a thing that they did with iOS and say, and it's available tomorrow, and everybody's going to panic. Um, no, no, they never, they never release an operating system before they release the hardware ever. Uh, 
I think we've sure. already proved you wrong once. Yeah, we have already proved you wrong. So, yeah. So, so I, I the, wasn't wrong. I was just incorrect. <laughs> incorrect. They, they made a precedent already, and they said, since Guy said we can't do it, we're going to do it. So That's right. Um, so they're going to release that, and then um, they will show some kind of a Mac on ARM processor uh, out there. Um, it's not going to be available to order till like, the new year, I'm guessing. Yeah. That so right. that's probably what's going to happen, and uh, and I'll be sad because I want it and I won't be able to have it. So it will eventually. What about what do you think, Dave? Yeah, I kind of agree. Uh, I don't, I don't see, it, I don't see it happening until the uh, uh, the end of uh, the year, or if not the beginning of the year, when they released. They'll probably announce something, but they did, uh, they did also announce there was some developer lab uh, that was being set up for the Silicon. Uh, uh, processors that the developers can start uh, doing some more testing so um so it's it, it's it's starting to come full tilt it's just a matter of uh just a matter of when so well have have either one of you had a chance to play with that mac mini that had silicone in it do you know anybody that has one i no. i know and somebody that, who had one and he's he's told me it's really cool and he's been having a lot of fun with it so. you're not supposed to talk too much about it but that, that, but, but, i mean yeah. Oh, that's all I can it's, really it's tell like, you. It's like the worst kept secret that Apple has ever had. And eh, frankly, it's been pretty, I, I think I haven't yeah. heard too much about it to be other honest. Other than some you. moron did the performance on it right away, and they weren't supposed to. But right, but, but other honestly, than that, I, I don't think much. Apple cares. I think this is along the lines of, okay, now don't you talk about it? Wink, 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 wink. Because... They're a little more strict. They're a little more strict with the machines than they are with the developer betas on that. So right. Yeah, well, they're... maybe. Well, but, now yeah. that it's public, now that it's public beta, that. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, right. Um, the um, the thing I was going to say was um, there's also a rumor of a refreshed 16-inch uh, Pro uh, still coming out. Yeah, I saw that leak. With boot camp uh, you know, drivers on it, which indicates that it would still be an Intel. They might release another refresh of an Intel MacBook before. That makes absolutely no sense. Well, it could be them just saying, you know, listen, this is a slow process, you know. The, the, if you buy these computers now, if you buy this iMac and this MacBook Pro, it's going to hold you, you. you. You'll be fine. You know, it's going to last you the life of of, of the, the computer. And, you know, Max, you know, if well, they, it usually does, doesn't it? <laughs> well, no, I mean, just, no, I mean, I mean, Power yeah. PC was a different animal and that it was it was a completely different platform. You got Intel and they'll, they'll still be able to continue to, to, to use these machines for years to come. I, I can't. Imagine I mean, that Apple's going to will abandon it as quick as they did with PowerPC, but the 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 most you're going to get with any computer is going to be like seven eight years. If you're going past that, then right. then doesn't matter what doesn't matter what processor seven, years, you're running. Seven eight years is pretty fair. I mean, well, yeah. if you look at window if you look on a PC well, on, on, a Mac, on the other on, yeah, on a Mac, Mac. It is, it's on a Mac a PC it's about five or six. So you know five, you get a little yeah. more with the so I mean just you know it doesn't matter what processor is running. That's that's where you're going to get out of it. And there's going to be support for that Mac, you know, as as long as the, the, the thing will run, I think. So I would, you know, I wouldn't. I'm, okay. I wouldn't worry about it. I wouldn't. No, you know, I'm, if, I'm not worried. I I have absolutely no intention of buying another Intel-based Mac. I. I I just don't see any point of it. Well, you don't need one, but if you know, if a uh, you know a Canon came through your window and broke all your Macs, you would you would, you know, because um, you have to. Or would you? Would you just not have a computer until this mysterious thing I comes would, out? I would sit in a corner with my arms crossed across my chest and wait. I like want to see that uh, that cannon that come through your window to break your Mac. So. <laughs> well, it, yeah. it would have to be a magic cannon, like uh, like yeah, the magic it bullet. It would have a to hit cannon, one Mac. Cannon, uh, cannonball, or like bounce off. I would just get or? a hold of, yeah. of Jake, Jake from Allstate, and he would, yeah. he would give me the Rogers rate, and I <laughs> would give me the Rogers. Rate. She's like, yeah. and how much? And how much was these uh, Mac Mac uh, equipment worth? State, well, and that's State Farm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is it? A- <laughs> It okay. is State Farm. Jake from State Farm. State Farm. Yeah. If that if that is it's your real okay name, because that's the son <laughs> of the woman that played the Wicked Witch of the East. The East. In of the course, Wicked it is. Of Oz. Yeah. Grandson. Grandson. Jake. His name is Jake. Yes. So they say. Who are you talking to? It's Jake from State Farm. <laughs> it's three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Jake <laughs> from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, uh, khakis. khakis. Did I usually ask you what you're wearing? 
Yeah. Yeah. Huh. All right. Well, that's uh, that's yeah. all the stories that we have. A, a, I think that's a good cue <laughs> for this evening. <laughs> <laughs> oh man this show gets weirder and weirder every week and the weird thing is the weirder we get it seems like the bigger audience we have too so i'm 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 seeing a trend it's a trend it's such a trend entertainment okay. it is it is well well that's that's like my middle name you know you you don't come and listen to what i have to say about apple and expect to come away with with like Front front page news. Ooh, guy said this about that. Ooh, it must be true. No, I'm a madman. That's how it works. All right. So it was 80% cannonball, 20% apple. And well, no, 80% cannonball, 20% apple, 10% magic. 110%. And witches. Always Don't give and witches. And, and witches. Always give 110% with witches. That's, That's right. It's important that only you the, only the that. wicked one. Yeah, not, not That's the right. one. All right, Dave, if people wanted to get a hold of you, how the hell would they do so? <laughs> it would be at in touch with iOS at in touch with iOS.com. Uh, I want to do the show with Warren, and uh, uh, you can find me on Twitter at DaveG65. All right, Warren. Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay, good. All right. If you'd like to get a hold of me, my email address is guy at mymac.com. I am on the Twitters as Mac Parrot or Vert Shark. <laughs> on the weekends, you can find me doing the long, long, long suffering, uh, working with the long suffering Gazmaz and doing the Mac, the, uh, the MyMac.com podcast. Yes, I'm having all kinds of issues today. If you would like to help me support the things that I do, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. You can buy me a coffee at coffee dot com ko fi dot com forward slash mac parrot you can do that patreon thing patreon.com forward slash mac parrot you can also pay a pal at paypal dot m e forward slash mac parrot and i think that is all the various ways that you can get a hold of us and we are delighted that you have taken the time to spend with us Week in and week out, we we do question why sometimes, yes. but but it is important that that you come and you 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 get us through these little therapy sessions that we do. It is greatly appreciated. It's and something to do. It's something, something to, to do. do. <laughs> That's our tagline. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Mac, <laughs> Mac to the future, Mac to the future Mac live cast. cast. It's something it's to something do. To do. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay oh. i like it i like it I like yeah it. i'm yeah. gonna have to incorporate that in like the closing credits or something uh <laughs> yeah. speaking of which we are gonna hit those closing credits hit as it! soon as soon as dave and warren say good night dave and warren good night dave, dave and warren. warren see 